Why hello everybody, my name is the Fighter Brony, and today we will be doing a story-like video on the similarity between- Shut up. We will be doing a story-like video along the lines of my other sp Spanish projects. Reason why is because my girlfriend has requested that I make story-like videos. Yes, and we'll get to that soon, maybe in some other video, but yeah, I do have a girlfriend. She requested that I make story-like videos before I depart for basic training. So, I mean, why not? Let's just throw a rock in the water, see where it lands. Wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble, wibble wobble. While we're making our flight to Dubai International, let me talk about that time that I nearly hit an airliner approaching Fort Lauderdale International. So basically, in my flight school, we fly out to the west into the practice area or fly out to the east over the beach. But for the most part, it's just fly out to the west over the practice area and gain your hours that way. And so what happened was that I was with an instructor who was there to do my check ride for the stage one exam. Oh yeah, I believe this all happened at the same time as well, so I might as well tell that. So while we were taking off, the aircraft, um, what was it, left fuel tank, while I was taking off, I noticed that it started leaking. I was like, oh shoot, do I have to turn back around? It's like, eh, no, the, the cap's still on. And it's not leaking anymore, so it must have just been, um, must have just been that they filled the fuel tanks to the top and overflowed it. But anyways, let's get to the more fun story. So, the practice area extends all the way to the, um, US 27 I-75 intersection, which if you don't know, the I-75 US 27 intersection is basically the edge of civilization for that area itself. And... We use that as a reference point when flying to po to Pahokee, which is a little airport along the edge of, um, what is it? It's a little airport on the edge of the Okeechobee Lake, which is a big old lake in Florida and the maps that you always see of Florida. But anyways, if I may continue with my story. So somewhere around near the, um, on the route back from the I US 27 I-75 intersection to the trailer park, which is another reference point the flight school uses, was the... oh shoot, missed my turn. Is the... what is it? The approach vector for airliners flying into the international um, airport known as Fort Lauderdale International Airport. One thing you want to do when flying over the practice area is make sure you do not fly at an altitude anywhere near those airliners because they're coming into land and they obviously will hit you. Now obviously, my dumbass was like, oh, well, are we sure? Well, no, actually, I guess we're flying at this altitude now. And then I saw a big old jet turn right above me. And I nearly got scared shitless. Underneath the cranes and such. So yeah, there's this big old airliner and I thought I was gonna hit wake turbulence. I was low enough that I didn't wait hit wake turbulence, but I was high enough that I could see the damn airliners landing here and everything. All those little details. I think I even saw the static vanes on it. But yeah, so that was the time that I nearly hit an airliner. What happened afterwards? You know, the flight wasn't cancelled. We just took the normal route back. Flew down the US-27 to the trailer park. Made our call out to the tower, to North Perry Tower. I wrote a contact tower here, but mm, I'm tired of c contacting tower. We have this one guy in the tower that just sounds like he hates life. And he's been there ever since my father got his plane. Ever since before then. This guy sounds like he hates life, but I mean, apparently he has to enjoy his job or something. Telling kids what to do. Because there's no way a man like that would stay there. Sounds like the way he sounds. And here we go, flying through the Dubai frame with the Huey. Then we thread around the buildings. But yeah, that guy basically sounds like he hates almost everything in life. But kudos to him, he comes in, does his job every day. So again, this video was a special request from my girlfriend. So, 
I suggest that my normal viewers click off of this part right now as I will be speaking to her directly, giving her one of my mess giving her a message from me. Alright, good. Hey babe. I know that it might be scary that I'm in basic training right now, but trust me, I will be back and I will be in your arms soon enough. <laughs> you don't have to worry about me, babe. I'll be doing fine. Just make sure that you get some rest. Make sure that you don't get paranoid and be tough out there. I'll be back for you, babe. Trust me. Now, I'll leave you with this. Good night, babe. I love you. <laughs>